this, this is amazing. This, this uh, PPC thingy. Oh, this, stick the power in me. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Avermouth where we've been given the very lucky opportunity to come and have a look at the new Actros. And look at this! We've got no mirrors! Where have they gone? No, we've got special little cameras. There we go, way up there, out of the way, where they won't get knocked. Anyway, we're going to have a look, take a closer look inside and uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. This is Justin. Hi right, Justin. How are you doing? Very well. And uh, you're going to take us out for a drive and uh, we're going to go through some of the systems and uh, yeah, going to give us a demonstration. Looking forward to it. Brilliant. Okay, so what we have directly in front of you is your 12 inch uh, menu system, which is for the, tr the, the operation of the truck. That's not touch screen, um, and on, but on your right hand side of your uh, steering wheel, there is a touch pad and the touch pad is what navigates your way around. That. So, so this is our touchpad over that's here. That's right, yeah. So if you scroll to the left or to the right, and then that will take you to the left or the right of the screen. So there's three sections within that within that, uh, that screen. So you have information on the left, which is operation information or trip, trip information. So if you want to come to the left, so currently is telling you the consumption of the truck. And if you scroll up, and then I'll give you trip information up again, oil level. So again, that's operation information. Yeah. The middle section, as you can see, that's your, your okay. speedometer and yep. also your rev counter. And if you scroll down from there, and then that's information when the truck is in cruise control, will provide you distance monitoring for the proximity uh, proximity uh, assist. Excellent. Secondary screen, uh, and there are three ways to uh, navigate this screen. Uh, once again, we have a pad which is now on the left-hand side of your steering wheel, which will allow you to this one over navigate. Here. Yeah allow you to navigate uh, that whilst you're driving and keeping your hands on the steering wheel. So if you press the top middle button on that, that's the home button, yeah, so that'll take us back to the main screen, so there we go. And then we can scroll left or right from there on the pad in order to navigate to where we want. Alternatively, we've got our quick menu buttons, which are these buttons here. Yeah. So these buttons coincide with the menu that we're looking at. So for instance, climate control is this one and it'll take you straight to climate control. Wow. If you want to use operation, and then the operation is this one. Yeah. So that's your operations and information in there regarding switches, level control, timer and settings. There is that button there, which is a shortcut to just the switches. Okay. Which is there, so there's another way to get your switches. So a lot of people will recognize these as switches on the old uh, Actros, yep. which were, uh, well, Yep, sometimes some of them physical switches, physical rocker switches, yeah, yeah. which are now uh, which switches. were sort of down here, weren't they? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've now got with the upgrade, which is the 12-inch screen, which is the one in front of the. Uh, this is the 12-inch screen. That's the 12-inch screen. So with the 12-inch screen, which is an upgrade uh, on the 10-inch, uh, it also comes then with the TomTom Tom truck sat nav, which is here, which is there. So which ideally we, placed. Yeah. yeah, which was we were saying earlier, it's really good because. Uh, a lot of built-in um, uh, sat navs, and, and it's like using Google Maps on your phone. Uh, once you've got um, uh, the sat nav sort of displayed on here, it's quite difficult to be able to do anything else, like change radio station or anything else. Whereas on here, it can all be displayed on here, so you can you can do multiple things at the same time yeah. without having to disrupt your sat nav use. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so super easy to flick through and find any of the controls you need. Yep. Uh, you've got climate control. Um, yeah, your heating's in there as well. Exactly. You can put it on timer. 
select where you want it, windscreen, um, temperature. temperature, just super, super easy to use. Uh, you come back out of that and then uh, you can go along to your multimedia. Uh, so in here you see that it's a, a DAB FM uh, and then we can come back out of there. And obviously uh, Justin's got his, his phone connected, so you can go for his contacts, his call lists, uh, anything like that. Um, media Bluetooth. So he's got his media Bluetooth now connected, so uh, we've got his his music on there playing away. And, and then you've obviously got your, uh, uh, your smartphone. Uh, which is your uh, auto Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay, yep. which again they plug in around here. And you got you got both of them here. So uh, yeah, plenty of options to keep you occupied with your on your travels. Okay. We have an EDE. EDE is the Active Drive Assist, which centralises the truck in between the white lines on the road. So the white lines need to be at least 3.2 meters uh, apart and the truck then will track in between those two lanes uh, and once the truck has picked those lanes up it will basically guide you through those lanes without the need for the driver to steer however the driver will need to keep his hands on the wheel throughout the duration due to the, the British law. So now we're in cruise control and we're utilizing the proximity control assist or the adaptive cruise control which is managing the distance between us and the vehicles in front. So uh, I have a target of 50 mile an hour and the truck is doing 42 because it's matching the speed of the vehicle in front and maintaining the distance that I've chosen, which is around four seconds. Okay, well, as part of the cruise control, this truck also incorporates what's known as PPC or powertrain, predictive powertrain control. And what that does, it uh, generates a digital horizon using 3D maps and GPS tracking and plans two kilometers down the road. So basically it knows the topography of the road, it knows where there's hills, where there's troughs and valleys, it basically maximizes the truck's momentum and gear selection as a means of coping with those areas in the most efficient manner possible. So what what that will do was as part of the system is if, if you're going at a certain speed, it knows the weight of the, you know, what weight you're carrying. Um, and if it sees a big hill coming, it'll sort of automatically knock it down a cog if it needs to. That's right. And just to get the maximum power, the maximum. That's it. Um, it, it, it plans, so it, it's, 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 it's already aware of, the, of, of a hill that's coming. So it will, if necessary, drop a gear, it will calculate how to, how to get up that hill in the most efficient manner and the quickest time possible. So whereas uh, standard cruise control may labour in a, in a high gear and drop that gear late, the PPC system will be aware that by dropping the gear early, it'll carry more momentum into that hill. And also, if necessary, it will actually accelerate at the bottom of the hill into the hill in order to carry more momentum onto the hill and, and further on. So resulting in less gear changes uh, and less momentum loss as you, as you climb the hill. So I just thought I'd show a little bit of the, uh, the mirror cam and the camera that actually operates it. So if we look up here, there we go, we have the camera. Now this is, uh, a lot of people have been saying about um, about how, what happens if they break down, if they get knocked. And uh, yeah, as you can see, very tight to the body and it's much, much higher. So you've got nothing, you know, you're not going to clunk anybody else's mirrors. And if it does get knocked, then it does move like a traditional mirror does and uh, yeah it's uh, 
obviously Mercedes have done uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hours testing with these and uh, they've also got uh, 24 hour support um, which will come out and uh, yeah you know it will, they'll make repairs they can fit temporary mirrors and uh, you know the backup is there if you need it right here we go we're going to do a uh, attempt of a blind side using uh, the new mirror cam Okay, this is attempt number one. I'm hoping that that camera over there is give, going to give me an enhanced view to allow me to safely blindside it into this junction. Wow. That went in without even trying. Let's get it straightened up. At the end of that trailer, never disappeared out of my mirror. And we're in. Nice, safe, easy, blindside reverse with mirror cam. So, as you can see, we are now inside the new Actros. And uh, we've got all the curtains drawn so that we can show you the lighting and the mirror. Look at this, mirror cam. This is actually awesome. I love this. The way it follows the trailer around and everything. Brilliant. Mirror cam over that side. And here we've got all our ambient lighting. So. Uh, just, uh, just, just having a little play with the light. I think that's uh, that's a map. Map lights off. Okay. Uh, let's turn that. Oh. Oh, look at this. Ambient lighting. This is impressive. Uh, and where's we've got blue ones. Ah, oh, look at that. Pretty blue lights. Let's turn Max. There we go. Look at this. We can vlog in here. We're vlogging here in the dark. Excellent. Well, here we are. I'm led in bed, so to speak. Um, we can hear someone outside. I think they might be stealing our diesel. Well, what we can do is, without twitching the curtains and, and spooking anybody, we've got this little switch here. And when I push this switch, Boom! We can see everything that's going on outside. So if you if you hear someone outside that's trying to steal your diesel or trying to steal your load, um, from a safety perspective, you know you can you can see down both sides of the vehicle without anybody knowing. So that's a really really good feature of the mirror cam. Um, Come in really handy that one. There we go guys, that is the new Actros in a nutshell. It was just a quick overview because I've got uh, more videos coming shortly on the new Actros. Uh, I'm going to visit uh, Mercedes HQ where uh, I'm going to go a bit more in depth with, uh, with the new Actros. So uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that. Uh, and to be honest, I wasn't a massive fan of Actros. Uh, you know, I drive a Volvo myself. Uh, I find it much more comfortable, I find the ride much better. But with the 60 upgrades which has happened with this truck, uh, I can safely say that I am turned and uh, I am a big fan. I'm a big fan of Actros, I'm a big fan of the dashboard, big fan of mirror cam, big fan of uh, the automated systems on it, just unbelievable. Definitely makes a driver's job uh, much easier. Uh, it takes a lot of the stress out. Uh -huh. So yeah, definitely a big fan. So if anyone's buying one of these and uh, they're looking for a driver for it, just saying, 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos just like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Cheers!